uncontrollably as Stephen Colbert humiliated and exposed Harry on the tequila interview. Prince Harry has been brutally mocked by US talk show host Stephen Colbert, ahead of the royal's appearance on the comedian's show to promote his new book, Spare. Colbert, who hosts The Late Show, used the trailer for Wednesday's show to compare the Duke of Sussex to Harry Potter, and joke that his memoir will be available as a commemorative plate. Leaked pictures from the show show Harry downing tequila shots as he fields questions from Colbert after arriving at CBS's studios flanked by armed guards. Harry hopes to use his appearance on the show to promote his autobiography, which details his fractured relationship with his brother and father, sheds light on the infamous row between his wife and Kate Middleton, and speaks of his kill count while fighting in Afghanistan. But Colbert looks set to use the interview to poke fun at the prince if an ad for the show is anything to go by. The advert shows Harry speaking of how his brother ignored him during their time together at a prestigious British school, Eton College. That's heartbreaking, Colbert says, to be rejected by his older brother at school, even though that magic hat sorted them into the same house. Colbert later adds that Spare is available in hardback audiobook and commemorative plate, a dig at the tacky crockery often released to mark important royal events, weddings and anniversaries. The TV host later jokes, stock up on corgis and steal a priceless cultural treasure from one of your colonies because The Late Show is going imperial. Harry's appearance on The Late Show is just the latest in a series of transatlantic TV interviews to promote Spare. He's appeared on Good Morning America, America's 60 Minutes program and ITV in the UK. Among the biggest revelations in Harry's book is his claim William physically attacked him during a row about his marriage to Meghan. He wanted me to hit him back, but I chose not to. He also claimed during the ITV interview that William and Kate Middleton iced out Meghan from the very beginning due to stereotyping. American actress, divorced, biracial, there are lots of things to choose from. In another excerpt, he brands Queen Consort Camilla dangerous, explaining that description in an interview with US broadcaster Anderson Cooper, Harry said, because of the need for her to rehabilitate her image. On a way to becoming Queen Consort, there would be bodies left on the street because of it. In another passage from the book, he calls Camilla his wicked stepmother and claims he and Prince William tried to persuade King Charles not to marry her. In other news, Meghan Markle reportedly thinks her husband Prince Harry is sure to win a Grammy Award next year for the audiobook version of his bombshell memoir Spare. As per Daily Mail, Meghan and her team thinks that the Duke of Sussex has a great chance at winning the best spoken word Grammy for his audiobook version of Spare. Talking about the possibility, an insider said, He's a natural storyteller, has a soothing voice, and even sings on the audio version. Hollywood loves him. He's got the gift of the gab and a fun sense of humour. He's the one with the star power. There's even been talk about Harry appearing on the upcoming Academy Awards as a possible presenter, the source added. Referring to Prince Harry singing a verse of Elton John's Your Song in a chapter where he talks of the 2007 tribute concert for his late mum, Princess Diana, the insider said, It was Harry's decision to sing Elton John's song in the audiobook. Who knew he could sing? Meghan thinks he's up there with President Obama, who won the same award a few years back, the source continued. The 2023 Grammys are scheduled for February the 5th, with Best Spoken Word 